Sometimes there are things that are just such a bad experience that you really don't even want to talk about them. You just kind of want to leave them behind you and move on. Well, my review of AT&T uh, U-verse television is one of those things, so this will be the last I say about it, but I, I had to let you know, in case you were thinking about getting a new TV service or trying out U-verse, exactly how awful it was. Now, right off the bat, let me separate the television service from the internet. We got internet and TV from U-verse, and the internet has worked perfectly. It's been great. It's been very fast and much cheaper than what we were paying before, and so internet... Fine, great. Let's talk about the TV though. I don't know if I could have had a worse experience with AT&T U-verse. I mean, right down the line, everything you would want from your TV service, uh, you can just check in the no box. Uh, start with reliability. The system itself is completely unreliable. The box that they gave me crashed five times within the first day I had it. Uh, the DVR recordings that I set to record uh, crashed right in the middle, so none of those were saved. And then, even once uh, the half of them that saved, I couldn't access them. Um, and that happened, by the way, two separate evenings. The DVR just decided, ah, I don't want to work. Now, I suppose you could say maybe I have a bad receiver unit, but it's what I was given. It's all I have to work with uh, in talking about this. So uh, that was awful. So reliability was awful. The navigation of the unit was horrible. The way you get to places took way too many clicks. Um, you can set up a favorites list, which is a painful process, by the way. You have to go through each channel and individually select whether you want it to be on your favorites or not, uh, and there's no way to really kind of go through groups or anything like that. And then once you select a favorites list, you have to click three buttons to get there, at least. Uh, shouldn't there just be like a favorites button where you show me my favorite channels and, and what are on them? Um, if nothing else, there should be a way for me to see which HD channels are available. Uh, you have to go through all the non-HD and all the HD. It's just the menu, the navigation is just absolutely horrible. Um, also, the picture is not that great. Uh, what cracks me up about AT&T and uh, cable companies will do this as well. They'll talk about how dish um, companies don't have a good picture. If a storm comes, oh, you don't get a picture. Well, we had uh, Dish Network for... I don't know, five, six, seven years, and I could count the times maybe on one hand when we lost signal because of a storm. Uh, so, you know, it's this picture was no better. It would go in and out. It would pixelize. It would just wasn't that great. Uh, the cost, the cost is so much more than it should be. I think it was going to end up being 80, 90 bucks a month uh, for the TV, and that's, that's ridiculous, especially when you're not getting an extreme amount of channels. We weren't getting all the you know, the, the auxiliary channels, we were just getting the basic 200 channels. And it's just way too expensive. Uh, and the tech support. I called in about my problem with my receiver, and they were unhelpful. They didn't necessarily know what they were talking about. Here's the worst part. This is the thing that got me the most. Can you tell I'm a little bit upset about this? With Uverse, I talked to the tech support guy. I'm pointing with my pen. That means I'm really into it. I talked to the tech support guy, and at the end he says, well, you know, I can't solve this for you. Yeah, I figured that out. Uh, so I'm going to send a technician to your house. And at this point, I'd had enough. And I said, no, please don't do that. I'm, I'm not worried about it. Don't do it. We'll, we'll just cancel at a later date. Do not send somebody. You sure you don't want me? Don't send somebody. I get an email five minutes later. An appointment has been scheduled with a technician. He will be at your house Friday from this time to this time. I said, don't send somebody. I said it twice. Very disrespectful as far as I'm concerned. So I had to talk to another tech support person after waiting on hold just to tell them not to send the tech guy that I already told them not to send. Having said all that, I'm going to leave it behind me. But just to say all that to say, if you're thinking about getting television service, I could not more highly disrecommend AT&T's U-verse.